Hello everyone. So I am at work today and uh, I just wanted to show you guys how I stay organized at work. This is my desk area and right here is my um kind of like my inspiration wall. But I was sitting here just basically getting ready to do some spring cleaning, getting ready to organize one of my work binders, which I'm going to turn around here so you can see. On this wall right here, I have several binders. That's what I typically do. I always use binders. Those staples, um, better binders, I use those all the time to just help me stay organized when I am at work. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to show you how I organize my work binder so that when I have meetings, I am looking professional and I am ready to go. Okay, so here is the table that I'm going to be working at today. So this yellow folder was given to me at the beginning of the school year because every week, usually our meeting is on Mondays. We have a committee meeting with the school counselors, the principal, the behavior specialist, the instructional coach, and um, the social worker. We have a weekly meeting, and so the head counselor gave us these yellow folders in August and she told us to bring these folders to each meeting and as you can see it is pretty thick I mean I have stacks of paper just on both sides I just got stacks of paper and it is just getting very unorganized and as you can see from my desk I don't like to have an, or an unorganized workspace so I have this binder here like I said I use the staples better binders I've had this one for some years, and I just made this little cover. I probably need to make a new cover because it's faded, and you can just slide, you know, your cover in there, and um, you can also change the label on the outside, but I use this better binder, and I have some dividers in here that, like I said, again, they are refurbished. I've had them for a while, and I have some clear sheet protectors that I got from Walgreens. I don't know if you follow my channel, guys, but I got these from Walgreens for like 10 cents or something when they had their school supply clearance. And I have my hole puncher. So I am going to organize this binder so that when I go to these weekly meetings, I don't have to flip through this folder looking for stuff. It will be organized in this binder and it will look more professional just in case someone asks me a question. I don't have to flip through this stuff. I have the information section off and it will be readily available. Okay, so I will come back on here when I get it all done and just share with you. Okay guys, so I am back and here is the final product. I went ahead and changed that front cover and I actually have this decorative paper right here from an old calendar that I use. So I just use this picture right here, cut it out and glued it down with the glue stick. And then here is the, uh, the label for the binder. I type that out. And then I also use this same decorative paper to make the um, section dividers or the cover sheets, I'm sorry, for each section. And for the tab dividers, I just typed them out and cut them out and I glued it down on the little um, tabs and stuck it in there. All right, so I have seven sections. And so you just can create the sections that you need based on your job requirements. So my first section is for my meeting agendas. So I have all of the agendas from all of our meetings in there. And then the next section I have is for the course schedules because I do work at a high school, but I am responsible for the college classes that are given at our high school. So I have to keep records of what courses we are offering during the fall, spring, and summer sessions. All right, then the next thing is my reports and budgets. And this is what I really wanted to be able to have on hand during my meetings because like I said, I work at a school where my principal is very hands-on. And when we get in meetings, she may have a lot of questions and she is not the type of person that you don't wanna have an answer. You want to be able to answer her and you wanna be able to answer her accurately and effectively and efficiently, okay? She don't like no fun bumbling around, okay? Cause she will put you in check. 
So I like to always keep it professional and always have my ducks in a row. So I just keep my reports here. So if she asks a question, boom, I can turn to it and give her an accurate response. All right, the next, um, the next section I have is for um, forms. So these are forms that I use on a regular basis. These, a lot of these forms are forms that I have created. And so I keep them on hand so I can remember to use them. Or um, sometimes I can share them with my colleagues because, you know, they may see a form and they say, oh, Ms. Johnson, I like that. And then I can just, you know, give them the co a hard copy and email them so they can use it um, at their sites also. And then the next section is uh, I hope you guys can see this. This is for my emails because, like I said, I deal with a lot of policies and procedures. And so everyone needs to make sure that there is no confusion, that everyone has clear expectations, and everyone knows the do's and don'ts of the program. So I like to always keep email documentation so that if anyone has a question about something, I'm not having to just remember or I'm telling them what I think. No, no, no. I'm telling you what I know because I deal with what is in black and white. And so everybody is on the same page. So I keep an electric copy, but I also have my hard copy on hand. And this section is for my helpful resources because sometimes when we're at the meetings, the counselors will give out information about scholarships, ACT or SAT information. And so that is useful information that I can share with you all, my subscribers, but I can also share it with people within my community. You guys know knowledge is power. All right, and then the last section here is just um, calendar events. I like to have my calendar so I can plan out things. So, um, And then the only last thing that I have in here is just a notebook, just a little notebook just to take notes while we are in the meeting. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope that you find it helpful in helping you get organized at work and keeping things in order and looking you know, stellar, looking professional, looking like you have it together because you do. And um, like I said, thank you for watching. Like, give this video a thumbs up, share it. And I will see you at the next video.